Arc Tutorials. This is Testing Concept Series. In today's episode, I am going to talk about database testing. We will learn what is database testing, what are some of the tools, what, why is it important, what are the advantages, and finally, what are some of the drawbacks of database testing. Let's get started. This is part 21 of the series. This is the complete playlist index. If you have missed out on any of the concepts, please do check the playlist and make sure that you have continuity in your learning and you all your concepts are thorough. All right, so today in, we are in episode 21, database testing. What is database testing? Database testing is the process of testing the integrity, performance, and security of a database or a database application. It involves verifying that the database is functioning correctly and the data stored is it is it is accurate and consistent. Database testing involves a wide range of activities. Okay, now right from verifying the schema and the structure of the database to testing whether the process stored procedures or triggers or the script that you are uh, doing for cleaning up the build, inserting data, data integrity, data format, whether it is consistent, testing the performance of data uh, database under various load conditions and much, much more. There is no single activity that can complete your database testing. It involves a lot of steps in it. And as a, dat as a database QA engineer, you need to be thorough about these steps. It's an extremely important, crucial component of testing, especially when you're working on a SaaS product or an enterprise level products which, where data is extremely critical. Because at the end of the day, if you don't store the data correctly and if it's not stored accurately in a reliable way, um, in a proper encoded way, you will end up seeing a lot of issues in, in uh, performance, reliability. Also, all of this will end up into a legal cost that means there can be legal cases against the company if the data is not secured, if it's not uh, taken care properly. Hence, database is extremely important. Now, what are some of the several tools that are used for database testing? Uh, there are a lot of tools available in market. Uh, I'm sure you would have worked with some tools like Toad, etc. But there are other things like MySQL Workbench. We have SQL Developer. We have DB Forge Studio. Uh, we have DB Unit, and we have Data Generator. These are some of the commonly used ones for database testing. Again, with the, I'll, I'll also add a word about MongoDB, Postgres, or NoSQL data here. Uh, since they're all cloud hosted, you need to make sure that the format that they are storing in, uh, that is correct, right? The, no, the JSON format is correct. The data is saved accurately in a proper encoded way. Uh, so data which needs to be hidden has to be hidden, etc. So these are especially for databases which are on-premise, but the same rules can also apply to NoSQL databases. All right, so why is it important? Like I talked about um, some of the th key reasons that you should remember are data integrity, right? Uh, database testing helps in ensuring that the data stored in the database is accurate and consistent. Data accuracy, right? Data integrity, data accuracy that the data stored is correct and is consistent. Database performance. Um, if your database um, query times is too heavy, a slow resource contention, all this will lead into poor performance of your application. Scalability, security goes without saying that these two are extremely important uh, to handle large volume of data as well as any uh, SQL injection attacks or data theft, etc. So these are the top five uh, common reasons that you should list when we talk about database, why is database testing important. Let's talk about the advantages, right? Uh, if you map the important points to advantages, you will see something similar, right? So it ensures that there is data integrity and data consistency. Overall improves the performance of the application. The, the request and response time between data flow improves and hence your application is much faster identifies defects early on like you don't want to bring down the house right if the database goes down the entire house comes down you don't want to do that so you want to identify defects early on increases the user uh, confidence obviously when database is strong when database is extremely powerful and serving queries faster the application confidence goes up now remember I told talked to you about the data privacy laws and legal compliance. 
that is extremely important to be compliant with the standards that are set otherwise those can result into a large scale legal cases so what are some of the disadvantages um, some of the common disadvantages or drawbacks that we see are time and effort right it's a significant effort you need to put in time money people resources um, cost also goes up um, since these are all proprietary uh, the, there's a cost of loading data there's a cost of performing uh, database testing uh, which is high so you need to make sure you complete it in the given budget and timeline there's a lot of dependencies um, on the database like if you're working uh, there is network issues there is infrastructure there is scalable if you're running on a VM machines etc so there are a lot of dependencies for database testing alone uh, limited scope we are here we are only the our limit the scope is limited to only to the box database box right uh, we are not worried about the user integration or integration with other systems or how the data is flowing and so on data privacy uh, testing database usually what we do is um, we mask the data whenever we get it from prod into other local regions we mask the data and sometimes that leads to uh, accessing sensitive data or leaking of it and that may really cause uh, data privacy and security concerns all right so that's all um, on the database testing today on the concept side um, I hope it's clear. I hope um, you're thoroughly enjoying the series as much I am to bring this series to you. In the next episode, we will learn about regression testing. We'll learn some of the tools that are used, advantages and drawbacks. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.